Good morning, guys. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. Oh my god. This dolly mug matches my outfit perfectly. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs and the uploads lately. I've just been so motivated and just so excited about everything that I'm making right now. Anyways, this week will be a fun one. I think we're going to have a gym. I don't want to say reveal, but the most progress made on the starter Kong. Okay, Fitz is literally so obsessed with this Kong. It's all he ever wants. Just take it out of my hand. Tomorrow, I have someone coming to work at my house. He's doing a ton of random things. But most importantly, he's mounting my TV. He's hanging my mirrors. He's putting together the shelf. The last mat comes tomorrow. It's coming along. I'll eventually do an entire tour once it's like really, really done. But I need all this set up before I realize like what else I need. Also, I need to figure out like, the lighting situation because we just need better lighting in there. I have a call now on Mondays at 10 weekly to just plan content and stuff. So I'm about to do that, but I'm gonna make some coffee, a little bit of breakfast, and then go off to work. I don't know what it is about breakfast, but like if I don't have avocados, just absolutely nothing sounds good to me. Does anyone relate to that? I'm always so hungry for breakfast, but nothing ever sounds good. I have only read to her. <laughs> Update on what I have decided for this office. Keaton really helped me this weekend make some decisions. So I'm considering getting a, why am I forgetting the word? I'm gonna get a desk like, installed to the wall that is smaller because I don't need, I need space but not as much space as I have. I'm actually gonna keep this white table and just like, obviously it's really easy to take apart. Keep it because if I ever have like a dinner party or something at my house, It'd be nice to be able to have two tables, especially on my rooftop. It'll just be like really convenient to keep. And then honestly, I should have gotten a futon because it would have worked better as a guest room. But I'm going to try to get like a little, I don't know. You guys will see. I'm sorry. Let me know if all the home updates are annoying when I'm just like thinking out loud. Okay, guys, let me take you through my journey of being an adult today. I need chopstick. Me right now. Balling out with my Whole Foods gift cards. <gasps> Guys, should I go to Whole Foods and just try a bunch of like trendy foods? That could be fun. Maybe for an IGTV or like TikTok or something. I don't know. I just DoorDash Chick-fil-A for lunch, which is something I was like, I don't want to do. I have food that I've already made. None of it sounds good. I got a grilled chicken sandwich and that's all that I could even possibly think about eating. I will have my DoorDash link down below. You guys get, I think you get $10 or $15 towards like food. It's basically free food being delivered to your house. Anyways, my journey today. I had to have someone come over for water damage in my house. So that wasn't super fun. It's gonna be a couple thousand dollars. These are the realities of um, life. Isn't that just unfortunate, you know? And then my gym got rescheduled for Wednesday afternoon. So it's actually not tomorrow, but that's okay because tomorrow can be like a really big content day as well. I have a lot I need to get done today. I finished a vlog, which I feel good about. I'm just gonna like you know, zone back in, get back to work. My food is finally here. I've been getting a lot of work done, so I'm feeling good. It is currently 1 p.m., so kind of halfway through the work day. I will link below my DoorDash code. All right, guys, so I'm gonna change my vibe for today. The rest of today, I need to plan the Bible study for the living room. I'm so excited for what we're doing with it. I'm just feeling like so motivated. Anyway, so when I do that, I don't really like to be in my office as much. I kind of want to like chill and just get cozy. I'm going to bed early tonight. I have not slept a while the past two nights. I don't really know what's going on. I want to go take a nice relaxing bath and then like cozy up in bed and then do the rest of my work from there. So that's my plan. B, what is today? Tuesday morning. So today is the day that I'm doing my closet clean out. I have been up since 3 a.m filming the Dolly Parton morning routine video. Um, and I will say, like, I get how Dolly gets so much stuff done. I, I love being an early riser. Normally I feel like I've kind of fallen off of it, just been a little more chill with the holidays and not trying to be hard on myself. But honestly, waking up early just changes the day, especially when I wake up early and I do a Devo. Like that is what does it for me. But I just have way too many clothes and I am not wearing any kid outfits right now. Mainly because I just don't want to, but also because I wouldn't even know where to look if I were to try. So I'm going to do a large closet clean out and give my sister like trash bags of clothes. Even like boys lie sets that I love but I'm just overworn um, and it's time for her to wear them because she loves them. Things like that. 
yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be donating. And I'm also gonna start filming more outfit videos, so I just need it to kind of like work in my favor, you know? I am such a visual person that this overwhelms me having too many clothes, and then when I go to try to pick out a cute outfit, style stuff for videos it just overwhelms me because there's way too much stuff in here so i'm going to set a timer for 20 minutes and i'm going to go through my entire closet i think i can do it in 20 minutes but life hack if you guys are ever cleaning set timers because it just like really changes things also oh my gosh these earrings are really filling i wore them for the dolly video they're just clip-on earrings also i did rollers and i know it's not super curly or anything but there's definitely more volume in my hair i've got to perfect it but I actually really love it, especially now that I have blonde hair. I like the whole like wispy, more volume, like, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys use rollers, tell me the tips and tricks and like send me the videos that you need me to send or that you need to send me. Okay, I'm gonna start. We're gonna put a timer on and get going with today. I'm listening to the Redheads on Layla. I read this book. I love Margot, but I have just been keeping up. guys this looks so much better i got rid of so much stuff look at all those hangers i need to vacuum my hamper's downstairs so that's why this is all out i'm in the middle of doing laundry so i'm still gonna have more stuff to put away my problem is right here is where i keep my sets and there's just too many so pretty soon i think i'm gonna have to move the cozy sets down here or i'm not really sure i haven't figured that out yet but it's looking better i want to get baskets so that this can all be organized better i already feel just so much lighter thank god just clean my bathroom feels so good i need to just declutter that but that's for another day i have two full trash bags of clothes three coats need to take all this downstairs my groceries are almost here haul this is not organized at all i just figured out all the bags and i meant to take this off my list so now i guess i have two almond milks this is my favorite almond milk though it is the califia farms is that how you pronounce it the coconut almond milk blend by far my fave i have some eggs um i got a papaya because i saw that savon ailey made like a papaya bowl on reels the other day and it looks really good so i'm gonna try that and then i got some dairy-free yogurt to do with that oh my god I wonder if I have good luck. Anyways, sugar plum tomatoes, some of my faves. I got these almond flour, siete, paleo, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, vegan, grain-free tortillas. Because I want to start making wraps. I'm trying to figure out lunches that are healthy that I like to make on the go. I got coconut oil just for cooking. Um, I used to make... These are just so exciting, aren't they? I used to make rice cake snacks all the time. Like, I would put on hummus and then i would do cucumbers and then like lemon and seasoning and stuff and it's really good i got cucumbers i thought they were going to be bigger hummus chicken which i was definitely supposed to get two k cups oh i got this tahini sauce because i wanted to try a different one i love tahini i got served kensington's chipotle mayo because i'm gonna try this on sweet potatoes you guys will see i'm excited a frozen pizza that's like cauliflower pizza for when i'm really hungry and not feel like cooking beans and corn sweet potatoes lots of avocados because i'm also gonna eat them as a snack as well as breakfast and then i got biscuits i don't even know what that is biscuits and sausage for my dolly parton morning routine video perfect bars which i love to just have on hand bananas blueberries with some pie bowl and kale so that is everything I got today. Um, I'm going to make my Dolly morning routine breakfast. Finally finished filming Dolly's morning routine. It is only 11 and I've gotten so much done. I need to record an entire bubble, bubble Bible study for the living room today and my intro, outro, and ads for this week's episode. So I need to get on that probably like ASAP because I have other things this afternoon. Oh, wow, today is like my most productive day of 2021, I think, so far. I'm getting my little booth set up. It's me and Coco, ironically, Dolly. Um, anyways, I'm just getting ready to record for the next few hours. That is the plan. It's just me and the pups in the office. They just went on a nice little walk with me, and now we're ready. 
Guys, I decided just now to try on my new skin set that my sister got me for Christmas. <gasps> it is the coziest thing I have literally ever put on my body. But look how cute it is. It's so soft. Like this is a tank top. These are like the boxer things, but love that. So now I'm gonna be so cozy. I'm gonna put the fireplace on and just get to recording. Ooh, this wall needs to be fixed like this week, so great. I wish I had an iced coffee, but honestly, I don't really need one. Just me and Coco. Fitz was over us, he doesn't really care. Hi guys, what's up? It's Kinsey, and welcome back to the living room. I'm really excited. We're actually going to try this out for the Bible studies. I was thinking, I know some of you guys really like to sit down and watch the videos, but majority of you guys in the Facebook groups and just in my DMs that I've noticed have said, you would prefer podcast. So I think we're gonna try this. I know we're gonna try this. We're doing it right now. All right, guys, it's been in there for hours. I just finished my second to last call. I have like 25 minutes until my last call for the day. It's definitely sideways. I'm getting my makeup back out. I'm gonna put on some, I need to put lotion on and then I need to put on some lip liner. I could truly live in this set. I got an iPhone tripod. So I've been trying to like take photos that aren't mirror pictures for Instagram and just like be better. I'm like losing my mind, I'm so tired. Literally woke up at 3 a.m. for that video. But I don't wanna fall asleep until like eight because I don't wanna like completely just be off my schedule and whatever. I'm using the Lux Unfiltered lotion. I love Lux Unfiltered. Guys, I just don't understand what to do with my hands with self-tanner. Like, it's not even that I'm not tanning them. It's just that, like, my hands do not hold color from tanner anymore. Like, it's very bizarre, and it looks absolutely ridiculous. But it's just, like, so annoying that I don't know what to do. Two exciting packages came in the mail. I got an Amazon show, which I'm going to use in my bathroom. Except for the outlets in my bathroom don't work right now and they won't work for two weeks. So, And then I just got another Dutch oven. This one is smaller. It was on sale and I'm really excited. This is just exactly what I need. I um, have no idea where I'm going to put it seeing as how I'm already out of storage. But this is the size that I need. My other one's really big. And Good morning, guys. Look at how beautiful the dogs look. I got every time. Or, oh my gosh. I swear I just saw a tear come down his face. I'm losing my mind. Every time I go in my bathroom to get ready, Fitz just gets up on the bed. Coco's always up on the bed. My cutie. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, my vlogs really are just like books and dogs at this point. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. I am going to take the dogs on a walk and then I'm going to work out. Today, I just have a bunch of computer work I need to do, and I'm also recording with Mariana Hewitt. It's not like my heaviest work day though, so I think I'm gonna get my nails done because they need to be done and they're absolute trash. I'm also making an Instagram reel vlog today, so wish me luck, everyone. I'm wearing Set Active. I don't even think you can see the lighting's really bad. This is what I'm wearing today. Set Active is my favorite stuff to work out in. I have like probably four sets. I wanna get like 15 because I actually would just wear this. You know what? Also, I also really love Fabletics though. I'm actually like the only person in the world who like doesn't work with them. But I really actually do love Fabletics. So, anyways, I'm gonna go throw a jacket on. We're gonna go on a walk. Oh, I need my AirPods. Look at Fitz. Why do you just look sad? He has such droopy eyes, so he just naturally looks sad all the time. But he's not, I promise. I'm going to do 12, 3.30 for the first time in a bit. I've been off my workout game. I keep telling myself it's just because I want my new gym set up. So, when this new gym gets set up today, I better be in there every single day. That is the plan. I always bring my iPad down to, oh my gosh, this is my last time. I'm gonna have to bring my iPad down because my TV is getting mounted. I worked out, I just shared on my Instagram story uh, my favorite current beauty products, but something that I wanted to do is show you this Kosas facial oil. I know my head is cut off, I'm sorry. And I'm pretty sure I've shown this to you in vlogs before. I picked this up months ago at Sephora, tried it, didn't really like it because I, in order for this to look incredible, you have to just wait for your skincare to seep in. And I wasn't doing that, I was just going like straight into it. This is my all-time favorite face product to ever exist. Also, I need good towels for my bathroom. Can someone like lead me in the right direction? Shake it and then I apply it to my face, which I don't do with any other product, but I find if I put it on my beauty blender, it just absorbs too much product. So then I just buff it out 
with a beauty blender and I have like the perfect glowy dewy skin. It's not a ton of coverage or anything like that, but it evens out your skin perfectly and gives you this perfect glow. If you like the It Cosmetics CC Cream, you would love this product. And this is just different in the sense of it's like even more natural. I wore it around my family and every single girl went and bonded after. Like that is how good this oil is. I do need a little bit of a darker color. So I wear a 3.5. And um, it's just too light most of the time. I could have even done less of the oil. I feel like my hair part has been very weird lately. Okay, I also have the concealer, which I really love as well. Uh, and I normally will like wear this and then bake so it looks better, but I really don't feel like doing that today, so. because it'll make it look like I tried harder for today. Hoops always just like dress something up, you know? The set is Revolve, these are Jennifer Fisher. All the hoops I wear are Jennifer Fisher. They're worth the investment if you wear them every single day. Like I love them and I wear them every day and I have for like two years and I have like a few pairs, but I'm ready for the day. I need to go make some breakfast and I need to answer some emails, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so today at noon I'm recording with Mariana Hewitt from Summer Fridays and then uh, after that, I'm getting my gym installed. <laughs> recording with Mariana in five minutes. I have just brainstormed so many like short form content ideas. So in the influencer space right now, um, things like TikToks and Reels are helping so much with growth. So I made a list of things and I decided I'm going to go back to like my time batching days for what I work on when and obviously like it's not a perfect world but I'm making my weekly schedule and I think Fridays I'm literally dedicating the entire day to filming short form content because that is what I've seen personally grow my stuff right now. So like right now, what I just did is I made my weekly schedule. So Tuesdays I'm doing podcasting, Wednesday, I can't decide if I wanna film for YouTube on Wednesday or Monday, probably Wednesday. Thursday is computer work. Um, I also have therapy on Thursdays, so it's just better for me to like not be on camera as much that day. So if I need to edit vlogs, um, emails, like all a bunch of just like computer work, right? Friday is short form content. Monday is more so of like a miscellaneous day. I do like everything on Friday or on Monday. I'm gonna do everything on Monday. So I'll let you guys know how this works out. I think it's gonna be good, but I'm recording with Mariana in four minutes. Finish recording. I've just been doing a bunch of stuff on like Google Sheets and whatever. Gym is getting installed in 15 minutes. I need to make some lunch. Actually, before I make lunch, I'm gonna show you guys a before. Things are a mess. We've got the shelving unit. We've got another mat for over here, which I haven't gotten done. This is my new, I threw my jacket this morning when I worked out on here. This is my new TV that we're getting mounted. Um, and that is the mount, the bracket. I mean, it's just, it's honestly, I need to finish some laundry that I was doing like a few hours ago and throw out this stuff. It's quite the mess right now, but later it's going to look so much more put together. Guys, get ready. Wow, it looks so much better in person now that I'm looking through the camera lens. Here we go, okay? First off, this cord needs to go. Second off, wow, I just cleaned the floors a little bit. I obviously need to clean the mirrors. Those are installed so they have a bunch of fingerprints and stuff on them. But I love what we have here. I kind of wish I would have gone with different flooring, but... I mean, it is what it is, you know? We have the TV, which I was just playing some YouTube videos on. Of course, we have the treadmill. I get a lot of questions about my treadmill. It's a Nordic Track treadmill that I just got off Facebook Market. I only paid $7.50 for this, which is a really good deal for um, Nordic Tracks. Also, ignore the really ugly extension cord. I'm going to get a different one and then get a cord cover so it looks nicer and you can't even tell. We have some little weights over here. And then back here, well, first off, all these boxes obviously are going to be thrown out, but that's not happening for a few more days. Then we have my shelves back here. So I was really extra and I spent so much more money on my storage bins 
than I could have because I wanted them to be all black and all the ones at Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff were like black and yellow and they just weren't the vibe that I was going for. So I got these on Uline and I'm actually gonna order even more now. I'm gonna do two shelves full of the bigger ones and then move the smaller ones up there. They're actually all full right now. Who knew how much stuff I can attract in like literally a year? Ignore my laundry, just did that. But looks a little bit crazy on top. It's just my Christmas tree, so maybe one day I'll make that look nicer. Anyways, it's just, oh my gosh, guys. The gym, like, can you believe how good it feels in here? And then I'm gonna get two mini fridges. And you may say, Kenzie, you are so extra, to which I will respond, absolutely I am, I know. So I need to get two mini fridges, one for all Celsius drinks and then the other for eucalyptus towels. I am the new hot Pilates, okay? That's what's happening. Also, the lighting has definitely gotten better in here just due to the mirror, but if any of you guys, the, the fingerprints on here are really bothering me. If you guys have good suggestions, let me know. I am keeping the couch in here for guests, so that is happening. Um, I might even move it up and figure out something. I don't know, the dresser and stuff will eventually go because Dom has stuff here, so when that's all gone, I'm just getting rid of the dresser. Honestly, I hate having it here now, it's just a lot of clutter. That's what we are doing. Good morning, guys. I'm going to work out in the gym for the first time. I am so excited. I'm truly a mom because this is like Fitz's training homework. I'm gonna take the dogs on a walk first and then I'm gonna work out, but I'm not already walked downstairs. See, this is how Fitz lets you know he needs to go to the bathroom. He just sits here, he goes to the door. Come on, bud, we're gonna go. You're a good boy, come on. What a good dog, he's so perfect and perfectly well trained. Oh, that stretch. Big stretch, Fitz, good boy. Into the gym, I'm gonna drop my stuff off. Wow. Part of me wants just like two storage bins, like another one of these, but like that's just so much storage. I don't like that, but I do want um, like a nicer bathroom, which would just be this wall. And like I don't need another fridge. So like before all the Texans they get a fridge in your garage, like it's just one person. Um, I mean I need the mini fridge. It's not like a real fridge. What I'm saying. All right, guys, I'm on the treadmill. Um, by the way, this jacket is like $10 on Amazon and just throw it on over my like sports bras and stuff until I want to go shirtless in my workout essentially. Um, but I'm trying to put something on. I think I'm going to add my low on. Netflix is here though, so like maybe I should start watching shows. This is exciting. I cleaned the mirror. It's looking better. I'm thinking of getting different floors because I just don't love these. But the thought of returning these to Amazon like makes me to it, but I just feel like other floors would be better. So, I'm not really sure. There you go, guys. What a good setup we have here. Alright, guys. Lighting isn't great, but I'm about to head out to La La Land. Maybe I'll show you in here. I forgot my camera downstairs. Update on the floors, guys. I am returning these floors, and I ordered the tiles instead. I went back and forth, and I just feel like that's the move. So, these are being returned back into the camera route. Like, like, all the time. Anyways, um, I just did the air wrap through my hair. It is the best thing to ever happen to me. And then I have my favorite H&M coat. This coat looks so expensive. It's only like $80 and it's normally on sale. So I'll link it down below for you. I have this white revolve sweater. These are all like mid And then I just have some sneakers on. I don't love the shoe look with this, but I don't really feel like changing. So anyways, I'm actually heading out to La La Land, which I don't really go to La La Land anymore. Let's chat. I feel like I haven't vlogged that much this week. Um, update, had my nice early morning routine. It was so nice. I started off by the five minute journal and then my devotion and then I took the dogs on a walk, did my workout and the new gym is amazing, especially because I can play things on the TV. So I watched some Melissa Wood Health videos um, and then I did a Melissa Wood Health workout. I also did 12 day 30 and I watched Ed Milet. My dad and I love Ed Milet so I feel like my dad, because when I go to his gym, he's always on the treadmill watching at my lap. I am my father's daughter. Today, I'm getting water damage and my house fixed, which, update guys. Earlier this week, I said it's gonna be like thousands of dollars, and it still might end up being that total that was only for like part of it, but 
listen to this. I had my dad negotiate for me because I figured they're probably taking advantage of me because I'm like a young girl. And of course, my dad got it down to literally half of what they were gonna charge me. Half, yeah, unreal. And I still don't know the end results because we won't know until they get into the wall how much it's gonna actually cost. Um, so there's still like a chance, but even just the starting is so much lower. So annoying and also it's really messed up. I am grateful that I have my dad that does this for me, but also I'm not. I mean, I am grateful for that regardless, but it's like so annoying and not okay. Anyways, it's just like 9 a.m. and I'm like fully ready and just run around town and running by running around town. I mean, I'm just driving to La La Land, but there's just something about today. I feel good about it. Oh, there's one more thing I was gonna say. Oh, today there is a new episode up with Mary Mariana Hewitt. She is an influencer and also co-founder of Summer Fridays. If you guys don't listen to my podcast, you definitely should. I'm actually really excited to be at La La Land. I like really started boycotting, but okay. Well, also, I'm just in like a linen Stella vibe today. Like that's what we're listening to today. Back home, took the dogs on a little walk just now, had some great coffee. Anyways, I am in my room for today and tomorrow, who knows how long, because there's water damage a little bit in my office and the downstairs. So they're working on that for the next few days. So I'm gonna be basically in my room and in the gym. It is now 5 p.m. I had a work day in my bedroom and then I got my nails done and I think they look really good. Also got a new pair of shoes in the mail from Princess Polly. <laughs> These are kind of like the loafer kick. I keep forgetting to take that down as Christmas decor. These are like the Prada loafer look, but obviously not Prada and like way less expensive. I just wanted to try out the actual look and see how I like them styled. So got these, I'll link them below in case any of you guys are interested. We have a bit of unfortunate news. This is what my downstairs looks like right now. Clearly not ideal. They, there was water damage, there's a little bit more damage than they originally thought, so the guy had to stop and then call someone else. So hopefully that guy calls me today and is able to start tomorrow. If not, this is what my living situation is right now. It's not ideal and also I'm noticing how affected I am by not having like real natural lighting because I am just down here for like five minutes and I'm like, I can't do it. And people can't keep up with him of like changing things and doing different things and that was a clip from my like little zoom meeting for the living room if you guys haven't joined you should um we're actually like shooting in a studio soon and the content is going to be like next level very very excited but um we do like monthly zoom calls and things like that so if you guys want to hang if you want friends things like that and you want to like you're maybe more interested in like faith and things join it'll be linked below Good morning guys, it's Friday morning. I'm wearing my workout clothes, but first I'm going to get coffee. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. All of a sudden, I love waking up early again and because I go to bed at literally 9 p.m., it works, you know? Anyways, I wanted to show you the sports bra because I like absolutely love it. It's from Girlfriend and it's just like the coolest, most simple, like you could like borderline wear this as a top if it was like, a little bit longer. Um, but I love, and then I'm just wearing Lulu's. This gray jacket that I throw on over clothes is from Amazon. Dom has all my other jackets, so I'm wearing this right now. And, oh my gosh, this one's so way cheaper. It's way lighter, but I do like the whole gray look. I got it really big, and I would maybe not because, I don't know, I feel like this is like a larger in XL, and I would maybe do like a smaller and medium because I feel like the fitted look is kind of cute for this. And then I'm gonna throw a coat on over and go, Get coffee. Love my nice morning routines. Are you guys ready to go outside? <gasps> Are you ready to go outside? Yes! Yes, go, go. Oh my gosh. Big stretch fits. Hi, guys. I don't know, I think they like waking up early. Oh, plus you fits. Final outfit. Threw this coat on over. Best coat ever. Good morning to me, guys. This, guys, this is just not cute. Update, we're looking at at least another five days of it looking like this. Fish just had training, I worked out, we've had a great morning. I've actually gotten so much, well, this morning, I had so many ideas. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. So I'm working a lot in the living room and I'm really, really excited for what's to come. We like rented out a whole studio, we're shooting in two weeks and it's gonna be really cool. If you guys haven't joined the Patreon, um, follow it on Instagram at least, The Living Room Daily, it's just really cool. The Patreon is like Bible studies, my Kim Possible ringtone. Um, <laughs> 
but it's like a lot of faith talks like when i say even bible studies it just sounds so lame i promise it's cooler it's like me talking which could like not be cool anyways go subscribe to the patreon it's really cool at least follow the instagram i'm very excited about it we're working on a lot of stuff so i took a call on the treadmill literally changed my life why don't i do that that like saves so much time anyways i need to go get ready for the day so that I can um, work on all my other content. Hi guys, I have been working and filming in my room all day since I'm really gonna be stuck in my room for the next who knows how long anyways. By the way, this set is H&M, it is so cute. I also have been taking some photos with my tripod. I might be crazy, but I just filmed my eighth TikTok today. So if you guys haven't followed me on TikTok, you need to, but I'm about to become a book TikToker as well. That's gonna be like a niche of mine. So I need to like figure out how I'm gonna do it exactly, but I am gonna do it. My friend Maddie on the OK Sis podcast, by the way, great podcast to listen to. If you're looking for a new one, it's like one of my favorites. Also some of my really good friends that I absolutely love, Maddie and Scout. Anyways, Maddie does book recs on her, on her TikTok and she gave me the inspiration. Finally put Fitz's little bandana on from Shop Revival. These are so cute like oh my gosh it's kind of scrunched just because he has the whistle on his collar so it's already taking up room but he looks so handsome you look so handsome they're matching now how cute how cute brother and sister huh a lot has been happening today i have been in my room filming tiktoks and reels literally for probably like six hours now work has just been really busy lately but bad news um, I don't think my house will be done for like another two weeks, so I'm not gonna have the downstairs it's just really dark and depressing down there I am so affected by natural lighting and it's ridiculous So I can't even like walk down there because it just feels so depressing Hopefully that will happen sooner than two weeks that we'll see also. I like really love these nails Alyssa and I are going to get food outside tonight. Alyssa's my cousin, if you didn't know. And tomorrow, oh, my new gym mats arrived too, which is really exciting. I got nicer ones. So my dad actually told me to do this, and a few of you also told me to um, get, like, they're basically, like, horse barn flooring, but for the gym from Tractor Supply. So in my future, when I have horses on a farm, which I've never wanted a farm before, but I just really want a horse, um, I can just use them for my future horse, you know what I mean? It'll be perfect. So that's happening tomorrow, and I will show you guys because it's gonna be so much better. I am talking so much with my hands. Oh my gosh, I filmed um, book review TikToks, and guys, like, you would be... It's, like, unbelievable how much I talk to my hands. I'm, like, still doing it. I think it's because I like my nails. Does anyone else do that? I don't know. I am wearing my favorite jeans from Princess Polly. I wish I had a pair that was like a normal waistband with the same cut from them because they're just the most flattering jeans. I also have my new Princess Polly shoes that are like dupes for the Prada and then I just have black socks on. This turtleneck is literally Kendall and Kylie from Pakistan. I've had it for honestly like five years probably at this point. And then this cardigan is Revolve and I'm going to wear my cute little Balenciaga bag. Fun fact, I got this at Nordstrom like last, last call in Arizona, beginning of 2020. And I'm gonna wear it underneath the sweater, which I think will be really cute. I don't know if the lighting is great. See you guys, so dark, so depressing. Can't even look at it. But that is my outfit for tonight. I think it's really cute. I have officially forgotten how to get dressed though. Like it took me so long to put this, the most simple outfit together. I cannot, get, I thought it was maybe my closet, but no, it's just my lack of ability to put together outfits now that all I wear are cozy clothes and like I don't leave my house. So, forgive me for the noise and the bad camera quality, but I'm about to leave. Came downstairs to a package. Coco's little sweater. She's been so cold lately, like freezing, shivering all the time. So I got her little sweater. This one is from Etsy. <sighs> I am like actually dying. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, sorry. Okay. This is just not real. Oh my god, Coco, I love your sweater. I love your sweater, girl. You look so cute. Me and the dogs, always. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi, guys. Happy Saturday. I normally wouldn't do a whole weekend to my life into the weekend. Just made some coffee, and this morning, my new gym mats are being put in my gym because I cannot carry them. They're so heavy. They're literally for my future horses as we know. My dad actually sent me an Instagram reel last night of a fireplace that was built in someone's house. And he's like, honestly, this wouldn't be that expensive. And so now I'm like really sad and just going on Pinterest and just planning out what I want this house to look like. I feel like this is something that 
I will never stop doing. But I'm also like realizing what works in the space, what things I'm gonna use the most, yada yada, you know? Unfortunately, I don't know if there will ever be a time where any of my living spaces are fully done because I'm just like constantly redoing them. So I'm gonna go on Pinterest today and see what I can do. This isn't gonna be like right now, but it is hopefully this year. I would also love to do like kitchen renovation vlogs, the fireplace vlogs, things like that. So if any of you guys have good tips like how to do the most cost effective kitchen especially, because I want my countertops and backsplash to be the same, but I don't want to spend like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I'll actually tell you guys what the first quote I got is so you can tell me if it's like insane or not. I'm not going with these people anyways. Anyways, for the labor and the countertops, it would be like $6,000. So I'm hoping that you guys are able to give me more insight and like tell me what you think And then I'm gonna look at the fireplace things. I'm gonna look on Pinterest today Like I'm just really excited for my new house I feel like it looks so bare ever since Christmas and like I was already thinking about like what I wanted to redo But now that it's post Christmas, you know, why not? I'm also stuck in my room for the next two weeks So also guys this crew it's from the wave sleep app that I showed you guys. Oh, I didn't even show you last night Oh my gosh, okay I got this PR package from Wave Sleep. It had a really cool box. I wish that I would have vlogged it, but I didn't. Anyways, this is the crew they gave me. Is it not so cute? Also, I'm literally dressed like a sophomore in high school. Like, this is what I dress like as a sophomore. Why do I do this? It's not okay, it really isn't. But it is so cozy and I love it. I'm just, ugh. It's also like the thickest thing ever. Like, the quality is incredible. I'm so impressed. Vlog is getting to be way too long. So we're gonna end it here. In the next vlog, you guys will see the updated gym mats, they have been installed and they look a lot better. They're still black, they don't look that different, but I'll take you guys through. Also, if you guys want an entire gym tour whenever it's done, um, let me know. But I love you guys. Hope you guys have the best day and I will see you soon. Bye. So I first started on social on YouTube in 2012. So it's almost been nine years now since I uploaded my first video. And looking back now, I had no idea what I was doing, but I actually still use a lot of the products that I was using then.